Yo, yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dimash and AK Bob Bright. You understand? Fresh boy level activated. You understand? Check the hairstyle. Yeah. You see, ever see some boy with this hairstyle before? <laughs> yo, yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? Let me see, baby. Listen, <laughs> you know where they go? Oh, nana, oh, nana. Uh, I don't want you guys to listen to my G accent. It's very terrible. <laughs> but yeah, you know why I'm singing that song? It's I called it featuring Stone Boy. Or Dobby. Somewhere in 2019, these guys were like very close friends. Okay, sorry guys, I just had, had to change my looks a bit, so that's what you're seeing for the meantime, you know. Fresh boy in the making, you know. We're revamping the movement, you know. Sometimes you gotta change the looks once a while. Okay, okay, straight to the point, right? Yeah, stone boy, stone boy. <laughs> are you are you the mafia, eh? The the master sabotage has been sabotaged. The master saboteur has been sabotaged <laughs> Charlie, I want to send out my heart <laughs> my heartfelt uh, <laughs> congratulations to South Korea's manager Angel Town for I mean putting Stone Boy to where he belongs you understand talking of the Tidal Rave 2023 at the La Palm Royal Beach Tidal Rave you understand <laughs> Stone Boy Stone Boy yeah in my mind I did try to say it you know, go feel second from the stage. Listen, listen. What happened? Stumbo was performing. I mean, he overstayed his welcome. The time that they were allocated, each artist has a certain amount of minutes to allo I mean, to perform. Stumbo exceeded his minutes. Still, Ayubi Mafia, BEM Nation, after his fifth dimension tour, he went for that program. I don't know what he wanted to achieve. Listen, you've performed to the fans. It is time for you to step step backstage, allow I mean, people like um, R2B, Sarkodia and the rest. Samini Seven was booked for that show. So a lot of artists were in the waiting line. Mr. Fifth Dimension finished, uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't just I mean, stop performing after his time had expired. That was why Angel Town wearing what? I mean, was it a uh, is it white t-shirt over green shorts or something like that? Stone Boy was dressed in green, green, you know, <laughs> a, a green shirt of, uh, you know, green, 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 green shorts, you understand? <laughs> Angel Town came onto the stage, forced Stone Boy to stop performing. They even had to turn off his microphone. Stone Boy was like, okay, no one can force me off stage. That is a lie. Angel Town actually succeeded in quenching Stone Boy, sucking him from the stage because, listen, you have to obey the manners. Even people like r 2 they were a knight. Why can't there be peace and love in the industry? You understand? And I'm standing this, sounding this morning to all the BIM Nation fans there who think Shakta is Stoneboy's number one enemy. That is a big lie because certain things that people do to Stoneboy, Shakta is not even in a position to do it. You understand? The same guy that sabotaged our freedom with concert, we are doing ours at uh, Freedom, I mean, at Crossport Stadium. Stoneboy came last minute, hijacked the venue. We know, boy, this time we want peace. Except that this time around, you know, Stoneboy, <laughs> he didn't have that thing with him because I was surprised he didn't pull that thing again. Like they will lock him for 10,000 years. <laughs> Why didn't he pull out that something again? Yeah. <laughs> you know, from the neutral perspective, I'm not loyal to BIM Nation, I'm not loyal to SAC Nation, but things like this sort of move me because I can just sit in my corner and decide to, I mean, soak, have fun with the vibe because uh, the last time I was happy when uh, Stoneboy gave it to Angel Town. <laughs> uh, was it a, a, a slap on the face or whatever? <laughs> this time around, uh, Angel Town too came seriously prepared. I think. Uh, Stoneboy was lucky because how Angel Town, if be muscular, much of you. That was Sarkodie's manager, well built. The last time, the knocking eyeball. So this time around, Angel Town was like, listen, you Stoneboy, small boy, like you, you know, go fish, show me nothing. So that was what called, what happened the whole time. Uh, the scene was chaotic. People had to, security had to bring in, calm, restore order before others could even perform. And you know what? Shatter wasn't booked for that show. But when he eventually, his sound was being played, even in his absence, how that sound moved people in the arena, like those the audiences, uh, it got them on their feet, you understand? <laughs> so
So, Tyler Reef organizers, keep this in your bucket list. The next time, we don't want no Tidal Reef. We don't want no Tidal Reef without one done. You understand? He, he, he basically makes the whole something complete. You can try to sideline, I mean, the man of the people. But yes, the people will also always be for the man. You understand? Yeah, sidelining him from Tidal Reef because of one, one or two reasons. Eh? Yeah. Right now, now that's how they, they do the something, you know, you know, get connections. Uh, you are not friendly with the industry play. They, what, what, what do they call them? The gatekeepers. <laughs> yo, yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Martian, AK Bob Bright. Thanks for watching. This is Martian, of course. That is what is going on. Stoneboy was trying to pretend like he was not forcefully sucked off stage. But listen, Yawa, they do Stoneboy. Yawa, big Yawa, you understand? If I just take it a good fit, he, he, he tried to pretend and behave like nothing happened, but we know what happened. Those who went, attended that program, gave us all the reports. I have videos on that. Check out the link in the comment section. Uh, you'll see what the whole thing, the whole scene that transpired when he was performing. Oh, he came out and said, oh, just allow me just a few minutes to, you know, say goodbye to your fans. I just wanted to say thank you because I couldn't just go without say before you realize, the, the kill of the mic. <laughs> they put up the mic and then some boy had to just carry himself away. <laughs> just like that. Sometimes celebrities just learn to honor. You have a lot of uh, artists on the queue waiting. And you feel like if, if, if you have an album called Fifth Dimension, so the album Fifth Dimension, it doesn't make you to own the stage. That's what I want you guys to know. So thanks for watching. Am I happy? Yes, from a neutral perspective. I'm not a sack fan, uh, I just sit in my corner and I kind of enjoy the whole show, you understand? <laughs> that is what it's all about, guys. What do you guys think? Who, who is to blame? Sack or team? Stone Boys team? Or whatever? Do you think Shutter should be booked for the next edition of Tidal Rave? Uh, leave some comments and I'll catch you guys later, you understand? It's been a fun time talking to you guys. And be sure to leave a comment in the description thanking thanking me for my haircuts <laughs> thanking me for transfer i mean transforming my face you know congratulating me on my new haircut you understand let me know how you check it out if you notice a bad man they come out <laughs> do you like do you prefer the the crazy madman rasta or do they prefer <laughs> The cool this one I take him yes you say I take him good check you understand <laughs> going to check was part of the reason why I had to rebrand re re that hairstyle you understand so all my loyal fans that you are, you are wondering why the machine is transforming this way so yeah I had to go to church <laughs> you understand <laughs> so I had to transform I didn't want to carry that heavy dreadlock serious uh, my head it was overgrown you know <laughs> I had not shipped for like uh, getting to a year or so, <laughs> so I decided to take it down to transform the looks. Uh, this one looks more official, more presentable. I mean, more welcome, you know. Thanks for watching the image, Dimash, AK Bob Bright. Uh, thanks for the loyal support. Uh, keep supporting this channel, you know. We're going global, we're going global, you know. Oh, nana, oh, nana. <laughs> Namiti baby, hey! <laughs> I know one guys, I know I know I know I know I make you guys if I listen to my sweet accent. Eh? <laughs> I don't understand you like I don't understand close to 80% of you, but you know I'm not an Ashanti man. If you see my tribal map before, no. I'm not be Ashanti man, so my cheek can't be perfect. So that's why sometimes you don't see me speaking cheek, but I understand 80 to 90 percent of it. About just yeah, the, when, when we speak the tree, uh, it sort of it sounds weird because uh, that is just how it is. You know, if you are not born to speak a language, even if you learn it, your accent is gonna be weird. You understand? It's not gonna be straight. It's gonna be conspicuous immediately. You speak it. Okay, okay. The experts will know that. Okay, this is not a typical tree person pronunciation. Thanks for watching. That was just by the way. The name is Dimash. Of course, we're going down. Beam Nation fans, shout out, greetings. Uh, bye bye. <laughs> Tell your uh, your boss something. If I behave, eh? the way they see, shout out as public enemy number one. Shout out seven will be Beam Nation in enemy. Eh? If you suck with it, suck with it, that guy be mafia. <laughs> All right.